Alan Tremartin. In the last two decades, this is a name that has been omnipresent in Ghana politics. Long touted as a future president, he has worked his way through multiple public roles and built himself up for what he has always hoped would be the ultimate calling as president of Ghana on the ticket of the NPP. Now, that won't happen after he quit the flag bearer race in frustration. And for long, frustration and Alan as the MPP flag bearer have fitted perfectly into the same sentence. Four times he has attempted to become the NPP presidential candidate. Four times it has not happened. Political analyst Dr. Jonathan Asantiochere says there is more to it. It's not entirely about the man. It's about the timing. And the MPP being a conservative party, you know, his time has not been due. And at a time that his time could have been due, that was a time there was an overwhelming grassroots candidate. That was President Akufado. So unfortunately for him, time has not been his partner, if I should put it that way. And now that he ought to have been the candidate, that's why I'm telling you different motivations. The former Ghana ambassador to the United States has had varying reactions to his presidential setbacks. Sometimes he has quit. Sometimes he has disappeared into the background. But the lingering expectation was that 2024 would be his year. But like in 2007, 2010 and 2014, it was not to be. And the trends of vote have suggested his popularity within the party is dwindling. So, is this a sign of the end of the Alan era? It will be very suicidal to jump to such a conclusion at this point in time. That particular you know, conclusion could only be drawn when he comes out with that particular view that he's suggesting to us that in a not too distant future he's going to communicate his position and role in Ghanaian politics. The impact of Chairman Teng's withdrawal on the MPP has been ridiculed by some political scientists. Professor Samuel Adjigenfi says that would be a mistake. The fact that somebody does not win elections or is unable to galvanize the type of support he would have wanted to I mean, have within the scheme of things does not mean that his contribution wouldn't matter. His detractors who were contesting with him in the primaries or in the race uh, must not be too excited. While he remains within the party, Chamatain's withdrawal from the flag bearer race, according to Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, a founding member of the party, signifies the betrayal of the party and further weakens the NPP. Alan, to me, has been stabbed in the back by the MP. He's the only one I believe strongly. A lot of people, if he intends running as an independent candidate, would definitely like to try him. Why do I say the party has been destroyed? And it's unfortunate that is being done by my friend Nana Kubuado. The Alan leaving the group at this time has weakened the democratic pillars of the party. And if we are not careful, the party will be totally destroyed. The question remains, what lies ahead of the politician after his abrupt withdrawal? Noble Crosby Annan, TV3 News, Accra.